guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. Guys, it's never a dull moment in crypto, that is for sure. So I'm giving daily market updates, especially with Ripple and XRP. There's so much happening with that project, it's unbelievable. We've also got Dogecoin absolutely mooning today, which is really good as well, up 50%. Shiba Inu is following that as well. My Twitter feed is inundated with Elon Musk tweeting out stuff. So we're gonna go through everything, guys, because I think we're in for a very, very bullish time coming up in crypto. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Let's get straight into it, guys shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel i really appreciate it thank you very much if you are new to the channel make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well you know because as you can see right here i love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos dividend stocks growth stocks talking about passive income building financial freedom and yes my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth so come along this incredible journey we're just getting started also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. So give it a good old thumbs up. It doesn't cost anything, it's down there. It's absolutely free. Thank you very much, you guys rock. Also, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto, all right? So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the four melodies are out of the way. Yes, I'm coming to you live on my phone. I do apologize about that, but I'll be back next week, of course, in the office. Let's go straight to the community tab today. I just want to point out some interesting statistics right here. Global corporates move nearly $23.5 trillion across countries annually, equivalent to about 25% of global GDP. Just to point that out, this is the industry that XRP, Ripple, Stellar, Lumens, XLM, Quant, and XDC, Singfin, as well as Algorand, IOTA, and Hedera are going for, all right? Now, also, just as a reminder for those of you, um, I've seen some comments saying that I you know, show the uh, percentages of what you would be in the XRP percentages and top wallets and so forth. But here it is right here. If you are holding 2,577 XRP, you are basically in the top 10%. That's it. And that's on XRP rich lists as well. So go familiarize yourself with that. These are the altcoins that we're absolutely pumping today. You had Dogecoin up 49%. That has you know, probably gone higher at the time of recording. Holochain was up 13%. XPR Proton was up 13% as well, Shiba Inu and T Fuel. Now, also guys, just want to point out that XPR, XPR Proton uh, is a different payment system where they use usernames as opposed to wallet addresses. So it's a pretty cool project and I do like the way that they do things. So go check it out, it's a really good project. Now let's go to CoinSpot. This is where I buy my cryptos in Australia, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, there is a referral link below. Please feel free to use that. You will get $10 in Bitcoin. And uh, all these prices you see here are in Australian dollars. Everything else is set to USD. And I do apologize about this being on the side, guys. It's very hard to do this on the phone. And I wish they would do a side version, but they're not. So Bitcoin sitting at $32,000 today. You've got Ethereum at 2,600. So I am up on my Ethereum investment. XRP still undervalued at 74 cents. Just let that sink in for a moment for $23 trillion moving across the world using XRP and these you know, banking coins pretty much. All right, Dogecoin is up 60% to 22 cents. And my opinion, guys, do not go buying this uh, because, again, a lot of people would be FOMOing into this right now. And I, I've seen this before in the last bull run with Dogecoin. I'm just saying uh, I bought it before all the Elon Musk stuff happened. I've seen so many people buying Dogecoin. And, uh, you know, a lot of traders right now are going to be, uh, you know, buying this FOMO and selling it on the people. So just be careful with that. Not financial advice. You've got uh, Cardano at $0.67. Cents. Solana's at $52. Shiba Inu is not far behind as well, 17.6%. I'm still holding that. Moving down, we've got Link at $12. XLM is at 18 cents as well. Some bullish news on XLM as well with Novati Group, who are doing a stable coin for Australia. You've got Algorand as well at 54 cents. You've got Quant at 260. This is getting close to my buy target, which is $250. Just saying. VeChain's up 3% as well. Luna Classic's down 3.48. We have Mana, Theta, and Sandbox. I'm holding all of these, $1.07, $1.96, and $1.33. Moving down, we've got Axie Infinity up 6% today, $15.94. That's very nice. IOTA's at $0.41. Cents. We have the Graph at $0.13 cents as well. Some other favorites, of course, Casper at $0.06. Cents, and we have XDC just below $0.05. Cents. And, of course, my other favorites are Reef, which, again, still undervalued. I've seen a price prediction of this of $8.00. Not financial advice, but I've got a big bag of that. 
Of course, we have X, Y, O under a cent as well. And of course, Alliance block right here, ALBT down 8% to 10 cents. So that is pretty much my uh, obviously coin spot update right there. So guys, let's go into crypto bubbles. So let's go straight to that now. And that's just me Googling the um, unlocking there. We'll get into that in a second. Guys, join the Wall Street Bull Patreon page. It is linked below. I'm building a very bullish community of serious investors. And I love talking with everyone in there, putting up my buys, my sales, my trades, everything I'm doing in investing in general. So join up. It's linked below. You will not regret it. Let's go to crypto bubbles. And let me turn the phone on the side. You'll probably make it a little bit easier. Let me just refresh this right now. We've got Dogecoin up 61%. Uh, which is absolutely insane, 128% on the week, 126% on the month. Uh, and again, it was trading at $27. I was buying this and I bought it and held it all the way up to around about 60 cents USD. So it will easily smash through that in my opinion. But I don't know, guys, I don't want to see anyone get financially wrecked from that. So be careful. Uh, Clay is up as well, 22% on the day. And what else we've got here? Shiba Inu, another one that I'm holding as well. 15.9% on the day, 35% on the week. And again, that usually tends to follow, uh, obviously, Dogecoin. We have Omi token, Ecomi, uh, up 8.3% on the day, 24% on the week. So again, I'm uh, I'm not too sure what's happened to my Omi tokens. I have to look into that, guys. And of course, we've got Axie Infinity up 6% on the day and 10% on the week. Really, really nice. Now, I'm going to turn the phone on the side for this one. Now, obviously, I did my video yesterday here from the farm, but uh, Ripple's XRP hits a remarkable decentralization milestone as the SEC lawsuit heads for conclusion right here. But guys, XRP holders have a good reason to be cheerful. The distributed ledger startup Ripple now holds less than half of the total XRP supply in its wallets. Huge milestone in the company's efforts to distance itself from the cryptocurrency in order to desecuritize as the SEC Ripple versus uh, lawsuit approaches the final ruling. They hold less than 50% of XRP, which is again, which is a good thing. So it is decentralized. And I've seen so many comments in it, guys, that they're saying, oh, it's centralized. It is not centralized. It is decentralized. Both, you know, David Schwartz has come out and said that. Brad Garlinghouse as well as Chris Larson. All right. So we know this for a fact. Just saying. Now, price prediction here. And again, I love putting these in, but 2025, 20, uh, 2030, guys. And let's scroll down to them here and I'll get rid of this stupid pop up. But it's always good to have a look at some price predictions right here. But this one's really good as well because it will smash through this in my opinion. And if we keep scrolling here, 2025, let's have a look here. So this is saying 50 cents with dollar forty seven. And if you go down to these other ones right down here, 2030. So according to data published on NASDAQ's website, and NASDAQ is the tech sector, right? So it's saying that the average projection for 2030 is $18.39. And my video the other day on Friday, obviously, on how to use the XRP ledger uh, to determine the price based on the burn rate was really interesting as well. And it had a similar kind of um, feel to this as well at 18, you know, $17, I believe that was. And then upwards from there, depending on how the fees work, uh, because obviously, you know, Ripple, you know, they're, they're charging very little fees. So I just want to point out as well, that can happen. Obviously, you've got a fintech firm now, Novati, set to launch the AUD uh, stablecoin, AUDD on Stellar blockchain right here. So Novati Group's been doing this for a while. The Australian dollar-backed stablecoin AUD will go live on Stellar XLM chain on November 1st, which is not long away. It's only a couple of days, according to the info shared on Stockhead today. The announcement was made by Novati Group right here as Stellar Meridian FinTech Conference currently underway in Rome, with the company revealing the new stablecoin will be available direct one-to-one -one swaps with Aussie dollars via the online platform and app. It is not the first AUD-backed stablecoin on the market. For example, find a favoured TUAD is issued on Trust Token on the Ethereum network and Australian dollar token AUDT as created by Sergi right here, Sarah Genko, I believe it is, and Crontech Company. Uh, these are both Austrac registered stablecoin solutions currently at play. So guys, Australia is making moves in the stablecoin sector as well, which is nice. What else we've got here, guys? We've got some other things as well in terms of the price prediction. As $1 billion in trading volume comes in, XRP obviously goes to the moon right here. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. Let's go here as well with Dogecoin because this is absolutely pumping right now. Uh, sorry, this is basically uh, – sorry, what have we got here, guys? This is another backer, sorry, uh, for the, uh, the Ripple lawsuit. So Blockchain Association supports Ripple's efforts against the SEC. So we've got the Blockchain Association filed an amicus brief in the case between the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission versus a payment company, Ripple. The motion is a tool a, a party uses to provide the court with additional information in support of the defendant, in this case, the payment company, Ripple. 
And it's very bullish. So in a sense, uh, the Blockchain Association decided to take a stand against the SEC and its administration led by Chair Gary Gensler. The organization's press release classified as the commission's action as contrary to the US laws. The release said the regulator is trying to regulate by enforcement rather than guidance. The former approach is perceived as hostile against companies like Ripple and many other cryptocurrencies facing probing and legal actions in the regulator. Kristen Smith, obviously you can see Executive Director of Blockchain Association, called the SEC's interpretation of the current US securities laws as haphazard, haphazard, whatever you call that there, crazy. Anyway, so there's just more support coming out uh, recently in relation to that court case. And of course, you've got Dogecoin absolutely pumping right here. True bull run uh, of the ultimate smart money trap right here. So Doge just rose 50% during the final week of October. Massive influx of volume accompanies the recent up, uptrend move. Failure to hold six cents right here could trigger a steep down downswing towards five cents again. Dogecoin price accomplishes a jaw-dropping rally at the end of the month. Guys, be very careful with this. Again, I'm just saying there's just crazy, crazy FOMO into this and never do this. The perfect time to buy any crypto is when the market is quiet. That's when how, you know, real money is made. Now, if we keep moving on here, another pop-up. Sorry about this, guys. But Shiba Inu, following Doge's footsteps, the latest data may compel traders to think. Can Sheeb follow Doge to the moon? According to new data provided by Santiment, as per mean coins history, it witnessed growth post surges in Doge from increasing trade volumes to growing velocity. Sheeb managed to show some positivity over the last week. This was after Doge witnessed some demand in the crypto market. And again, very bullish on Shiba Inu. It is an Ethereum-based token. And they are burning Shiba Inu as well. So just keep that in mind. VeChain prediction as well. This one's not too bullish, but... Um, Moving down right here, if we go to this, it's basically saying that VeChain could hit, uh, you know, a dollar, you know, in the next, uh, you know, few years, guys, in the next decade, a dollar seventy nine, and I have seen that as well. I think, you know, a VeChain is a good hold, but it's definitely not going to make you very, very wealthy, in my opinion. Now, of course, let's go to CryptoMeter.com. I'm going to refresh this right now, and I do apologize about all this stuff. So maybe just listen to the volume. Got money flowing into Ethereum, Dogecoin. That's a lot of FOMO. Shiba Inu, Bitcoin, New Protocol as well. And that is pretty much where the money's flowing. And also, guys, $120 billion uh, value in cross-border payments. How banks leverage central bank digital currencies. And, of course, the companies like Ripple, Stellar, Quant are all helping governments build out these central bank digital currencies. But global corporates move nearly $23.5 trillion across countries annually, equivalent to about 25% of GDP. To do this, they have to rely on wholesale cross-border payment processes, which remain suboptimal from a cost, speed, and transparency standpoint. Aside from the incurring transaction cost of more than $120 billion per year, including foreign exchange fees, these processes have also additional hidden costs arising from tra trapped liquidity and delayed settlements. Ripple's going to solve all of that. Now, guys, if you ran the video this long, thank you very much. Let's get into Twitter right now because I want to get through that as well and finish up because this is a pretty long video. And again, I'm at the Wall Street Bull Oz. Make sure you follow me on that. And again, yes, I'm going to be giving away this Bullheads ring when I hit 100,000 subscribers. So that will come. I'm going to play this video now from Ripple so you can actually see what the company's on demand. Way for our customers to send fast, low cost payments without having to prefund the destination account. Today's correspondent banking network is so slow that in order to deliver a fast experience, you have to prefund accounts in the destinations in which you're sending money to. You're storing capital like cash really in those accounts for days at a time, and that's highly inefficient. It's a poor use of money. And so on-demand liquidity puts XRP in the in, kind of in the middle of that payment from one country to another country to allow for the ability to send payments instantaneously or near instantaneously without having to have funds already available in the all right, guys, I'm not sure if my earpiece has just died on me, but I don't know. We'll see what happens right there. Probably has. Anyway, keep moving on, guys. 2015, FinCEN in arm of the US Justice Department declared XRP a virtual currency as a standpoint of settlement around the BSA violation. SEC, Gov, will eventually, you will have to answer to uh, obviously why this lawsuit was initiated, of course. You've got CBDCs have the potential to enhance innovation, solve inefficiencies, and increase financial inclusion. CBDCs I'm not a fan of. 
Dogecoin Millionaire is up $116,000 today, guys. He did have about $3 million in there, and I definitely would have taken at least half, if not 60% of that, and put it into some generating cash flow assets. Just saying, you've got people buying $160 million Doge valued at $21 million transfer from an unknown wallet to unknown wallet. Absolutely crazy. And he said here, Fred Rispoli, as I recently mentioned, I think most likely outcome of summary judgment briefing is that the only uh, one issue is granted by Judge Torres, that XRP is not a security per se, and the secondary sales are not securities transactions right here. This gives the SEC Gov primary beating absolute fact. Facts. BNB chain processed over 3.5 billion transactions to date. Plan B is putting up some incredible stuff here with Bitcoin and basically the stock to flow model. And again, I think we're just going to continue going up to at least a million dollars very, very soon. And Visa, a trillion dollar company to launch Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP wallet, of course. And uh, this is basically saying inflation is not going up due to government policies. Inflation is going up due to Wall Street decisions. Chris Hayes is nodding along, even though he, uh, she is clueless right here. I don't know. And Crypto Lulu, this is an incredible video. I'm not going to play this because the video is going to go too long. Legend, go follow him on Twitter and TikTok as well. Very, very bullish in terms of uh, XRP and banks. Uh, so go watch that, guys. I'm not going to play it at the moment. But Dogecoin has reclaimed $17.1 billion market cap. And this is incredible as well. Elon Musk declined FTX CEO to offer and invest $10 billion in the Twitter takeover. And uh, guys, I tend to agree with him. There's some, some crazy stuff going on with him at the moment. Let's go to coin market cap here and we'll end up on the video. So $1 trillion, you've got $89 billion in volume, 38% BTC, 19% Ethereum. 21,500 cryptocurrencies today, guys. And yes, my money is going up into these coins right here, straight up. And yes, that's my favorite word. Let's go here to market cap, Ethereum, XRP, Cardano, AVAX, Link, XLM, Algorand, Quant, Hedera, IOTA, Casper, XDC, and Alliance Block. That is where my money's going today, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, these coins and projects are going to change the financial world forever. And uh, thank you very much for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and uh, follow me on all socials and make sure you join the Patreon page, all right? We'll speak to you all tomorrow from my phone. So have a good day. We'll speak to you then. Peace out. Bye.